Hello, friends and artists. Mrs. Gordon here. Welcome back. Um, so we are in week two of our lettering uh, unit for the month of January. So we're taking a little um, a little vacation this month from doing an artist of a month. You know, we started with uh, Yayoi Kusama in October, and then we did Faith Ringgold in November and the fabulous Charlie Harper in December. And this month, instead of doing um, instead of doing an artist of the month, we're doing a style of art, which is lettering and using letters as part of your art or as your art. Um, and so last week, you did a project um, uh, based on uh, the fabulous book Word Collector, and you collected words or a word or word, I think it was words, you collected words that you wanted to be your words of intent for January. So I'm so excited to see what you did with that. Um, but this month, we're going to be covering an artist named Robert Indiana. And you might not have heard of his name, but I am sure that you have seen his work, um, especially if you've been to Philadelphia and you've been to Love Park. Um, so this right here is the Love statue in Philadelphia. And this sculpture, it's actually not a statue. A statue is of a person, but this is a sculpture because it's made of three-dimensional letters and words. But it was created by the fabulous artist, Mr. Robert Indiana, who created this piece for a postage stamp. So let's talk a little bit about this. Robert Indiana um, was born as Robert Clark in 1928. Um, he passed away in 2018. He was an American artist. He was known for being part of the pop art movement. So um, people like Yayoi Kusama was part of the pop art movement and Andy Warhol was part of the pop art movement. Um, he was born in Newcastle, Indiana, um, and he moved to New York City in 1954, and he joined the pop art movement. Um, Indiana's work often had bold, simple, iconic images, um, especially numbers and short words like eat, hug, love. Um, his best known image is the word love in uppercase letters um, arranged in a square. What's going on here? There we go. Um, arranged in a square. Uh, and with the the titled uh, the tilted letter O, and it was first created for a Christmas card for the Museum of Modern Art in 1964. It was put on the postage stamp. That's where I got the postage stamp in 1973. Um, and he has a series of sculptures all over the world, actually, of his love sculptures. Like, there's one in Philadelphia. There's one in Washington D.C. that says Amor, which is Spanish for love, um, and um, it's, it's just a fabulous, people get, it's iconic. People get their pictures taken with it. Um, after the September 11th attacks, he made a series of peace paintings, which were shown in New York in 2004. Um, and, he, uh, he, Mr. Robert Indiana died in 2018 in Vinyl Haven, Maine, um, at the age of 89. So let's take a little closer look here. So here is the piece that he made for the postcard for the Museum of Modern Art. What I find interesting um, about lettering is how artists take letters that we know and they change the shape of them. And like they change, he changed, you know, he made parts of the letters thick and parts of it thin. This type of letter is called a serif letter. That means so there are sans serif and serif um, fonts. Uh, which are just basically like, you know, styles of letters. And serif fonts have like the little flags at the ends and the tops. Like most of the books that you read are serif books. But you'll see that in some of the letters, parts of it are thin, parts of it are thick, that he changed, that he kind of grouped all the letters together to make one big shape. And he colored those all in the same thing. And then he colored other, uh, the background in, sometimes we call it the negative space. Like you see this kind of upside down Christmas tree. And he chose different colors like the green and the blue. And then in the sculpture, um, instead of having a background behind it, what he made blue and green are the, the parts of the letter that would go from back to front because this is a three-dimensional form. So you can visit this in Philadelphia. This is a piece of art that you can go see right now, even with COVID restrictions, 
um, you could take a little trip into Philadelphia and get your picture taken with your masks on in the fresh air uh, in Love Park in Philadelphia. Uh, bonus points for people who get a picture taken with the Love Park um, uh, uh, statue or sculpture. And if you're interested, there are other sculptures that you could visit in Philadelphia at the same time outside that you could go and see. Now, this was part of his uh, the the piece work that he did, and he changed the peace signs and he added words to it. Um, and so he used letters, howl for peace now, shriek for peace now, shout for peace now, scream for peace now, scream peace, howl peace, shriek peace. And he used different colors and he arranged the peace signs in different ways. In this one, he used four peace signs. And in this one, he used one. He arranged the letters and the signs and he chose um, the font of his letters very specifically. I think he really liked these serif fonts. Um, so I hope you enjoyed your little introduction to Robert Indiana. Um, We're going to be making some art this week inspired by Mr. Robert Indiana. And I'm excited to do that with you. Thanks for listening, friends.